healthy Mars bars. I never thought there would be such a thing. But Luke Hines is here. He's going to show us how to do this. Are you for real? Juzzy, these are gluten-free, <laughs> dairy-free, refined, sugar-free. And just so anyone at home doesn't freak out, it's Mars with four Zs, just for legal purposes. <laughs> All Very right. Important. Very important. <laughs> just in case. Now, Mars bars have three elements that we are going to absolutely nail today. Yep. We have got a nougat base topped with sticky peanut caramel. Surrounded by homemade three ingredient chocolate. What do you reckon? Oh, it sounds so good. Oofed. So you've got some peanut butter there, smooth. Yeah, nice yep. and smooth. That is because we need to incorporate it with some coconut cream. Okay. Which we're gonna get in there just like so. Mm -hmm. And then along with that, our sweetener of choice is maple syrup. Right. You could use raw honey, yes. coconut nectar, they all work perfectly. There's many different sweeteners on the market that yeah. aren't refined sugars anymore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I reckon like five years ago. People were like, oh, these are really different and unique. Mm. I think they're becoming a lot more common now. Yes. And you can get them at all your major supermarkets. Exactly. So they're no longer just specialty stores and health food stuff. Yeah, and that, for me, is a big thing because if I can get it at the supermarket, I'm more inclined to, to make this. Yeah, totally. I think one of the biggest roadblocks people have with their health is that it could be time-consuming or difficult to get the ingredients. Yes. And that is not the case with a recipe like this. Nice. It smells so good, that maple syrup and peanut butter. If you think it smells good now, wait until we get the coconut sugar in there, granulated. Yeah. Okay. You could use coconut nectar if you want. Sure. In there we're going to use raw cacao powder as well, which gives us that dark chocolate nougat taste. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, to bring it all together, we need coconut flour. Right. Super absorbent, makes the nougat extra sticky. Mm, I think that's your secret ingredient in a lot of your recipes. Yeah, totally. This flour in particular. When anyone asks about my skincare routine, I just say coconut flour. Just smothers it everywhere. <laughs> Everything. Bathe it, wash the dogs with it. <laughs> yeah. They must smell lovely tropical. Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> now I'm going to work this until it's really tightened up. It'll literally be hard for me to get the spatula through it. Okay. And some vanilla. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> the final piece to the puzzle. Getting that in there. I love a bit of vanilla, don't I? Oh, you do. Just get it in there willy-nilly. <laughs> <laughs> and so this now goes into a tray. We've lined it with some baking paper and we pop it in the freezer. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like rock frozen, but firm enough for us to put the caramel layer on top. I love me some peanut caramel and you are in charge of that today. So melt down the smooth peanut butter. Now when it hits a saucepan, kind of on that medium heat, it'll start to really soften and melt down so that we can incorporate the sweetener and of course our butter. You can't have a caramel without butter. But if you are plant-based, you can swap out the butter for coconut oil. Looking pretty good now. Happy with that. I'll get you to pour in the maple syrup. Okay, maple syrup. Stir that through. Oh, yes, oh. it's that magical <laughs> combo again. It really, really is. And then to finish that off, we're just going to go 250 grams of grass-fed butter. Let's put the whole lot in. Oh, why not? <laughs> and when you cook this down on kind of a medium heat, it'll start to reduce, come together, emulsify, and really be fantastic. Now, once that butter has melted down completely and all of the ingredients have thickened up, mm -hmm. we can get that base that's been setting in the freezer so that it's nice and firm and we can pour that caramel on top. And goes back in the freezer? Absolutely. And then we're going to cover it with chocolate once set. Yeah. You have absolutely nailed that chalky Justine. So we've got the raw cacao butter melted down with the raw cacao powder. And now we've just got to sweeten it. And today we're using maple syrup. So get that in and you know what that'll do? Make it extra thick. Oh, wow. Which means it's perfect timing for me to get on to cutting our Mars bars. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. Hello. Now, obviously with this type of recipe, you can cut it into squares, triangles, octagons, but today we're going to make it look like the classic. So I'm going to go straight through with a warm knife mm -hmm. because it's been in the freezer. Yep. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at the caramel around the edge. That looks so good. I love how you can see the distinct double-decker. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. And then I'm just going to go actually across this way 
to get that perfect Mars bar shape right. and size. So. Yes, good little tip. Look at that. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, I could just eat that as is. <laughs> oh, but I know, so we'll decadent. do a couple more. Yep. And then we can coat these. You definitely need a hot knife to get through this. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to get these bad boys onto what I'm going to call today our drizzle tray. Okay. And the reason we do this, the tray over the plate, mm -hmm. is so that when we do the chocolate, any leftovers drizzle onto the plate, not your kitchen bench, and you can reuse it. Nice and tidy. Absolutely. Am I doing the drizzling? Oh, you are in charge of drizzles, oh. baby. We'll just drizzle. <gasps> oh. That is so good. <laughs> and then what I like to do, I would go like one layer, right? Yep. And then because the Mars bar is cold, it'll yep. begin to set. Okay. And then once that layer is set a little bit, I go again for a double layer. Wait, am I doing it right? Is yeah, it's perfect. On do one layer okay. and then move on to the next. Ooh. Oh, it is so oozy and gooey and sticky and chocolatey and yum. Luke's Mars bars with a Z, 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 Z. Yeah. Now, <laughs> you can't. Because I've got we're to try set this. These. Yep. Try that. Take okay. that. I'm going to try this. Dip it in a little bit of chalky. Oh, it's so naughty. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. They are honestly so good. I think I'm going to need a larger slice than that. Yeah, totally. With three more layers of chocolate. <laughs>